Our 400 level students of the Oshun State University, Oshibo, Timilein Shunibare, was declared missing a week ago, only for his decomposing headless remains to be found in the bush in Okebale, Oshibo. His severed head and palms were burnt to ashes in this local port for money ritual. Police has arrested the suspected ritualists. The arrested suspects of mistreatment to the fact that they actually killed the student, smashed his head, severed the head, and use it for whatsoever. We are here to assert him. But we have the opinion that all they did was in their attempts to make money. Yaya told me he wanted to do money ritual and I offered to assist him. This is my first time of doing it. While I was speaking with Timileni, Yaya smashed his head twice with pestle and he died. We severed his head and palms. Infuriated by the development, students of the institution ran Oshibu aground. The Irish students who came out in their thousands blocked major streets, made bonfire, and prevented vehicular movement. <laughs> Some of them were violent, wielding weapons from the popular Olaya Junction to the State Secretariat at Biri. Their freed nerves were later camped when the Commissioner of Police, Olafimia Adui, addressed them. We are trying to work out some modalities to enhance the security of the students. We are going to be engaging them in uh, a lot of dialogue so that we can sit together and find a means of ensuring uh, safety of life and property in that community, not only in that community, but in the entire state. With the intervention of the police, the situation is gradually becoming calm. Uh, vehicles are now moving from Olaiya roundabout to the secretariat where the students converge. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ushugu.